go. It's time to wait for a couple of loads first while I'll explain what this game is. This game is a European PS2 exclusive based on, well, the Inspector Gadget license off the, uh, 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 what is it, mid-80s cartoon, right? It, they, they streamed some of it on Twitch recently, so I thought it was appropriate to bring it back. The last time I did a run of this was at ESA Winter 2018. It's a 2.5D side-scroller. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, anyone got any questions? <laughs> no, there is some more to explain. The main thing is... I only found out recently this game was developed by the same people that made um, Arabian Nights, if you've seen that speedrun. That's a... Hang on a second. That... No? Yes, there we go. That's a action platformer that's just a rip-off of, um, what is it, uh, Prince of Persia, that's it. That's a pretty good speedrun. Unfortunately, I, wouldn't, I would say this is not as good, but it's actually already better because it's about gadget and not just ripping off another license. There we go. I was going to watch the cutscenes during this, but because we're running behind on time, I'm not going to. There's some pretty good stuff in the cutscenes of this game. Dr. Claw doesn't sound like anything like Dr. Claw, and the subtitles are all over the place. I'm guessing they were originally translated poorly, and then the actors just ad-libbed. For context, um, the story of this game is that if you've ever watched the show, you'll know that Gadget is usually the dude who just messes everything up and Penny and Brain just do all the actual work. Unfortunately, Penny and Brain were kidnapped by uh, Dr. Claw and we have to save them. So Gadget actually has to do some work this time. But unfortunately, Dr. when Gadget was on a pier somewhere looking for them, a bomb next to him went off and it removed the ability to use most of his gadgets and the only way of using gadgets is to pick up pickups that you might have just seen. I'm actually gonna, I didn't mean to save but let's save. I could actually turn the save feature off but I'm actually gonna save at certain points just because the game has a tendency to um, not load some areas sometimes so I'd need to reload the game. I have some backup saves if I really need them. I didn't actually mean to save there, I would plan to save at the end of every Every, um, should I call them worlds? So for context, we're currently in New, uh, New York, heading for the Statue of Liberty, for some reason. I forget exactly why. I, I don't really feel like it's very much explained in the story either. And then we go between four different continents. I think it's four. And then go to a fifth one, which we'll see later, which isn't technically a continent. Let's do some nice dodging here. When, <laughs> when you flick these switches, you can dodge the uh, stereotypical New Yorker throwing burgers, <laughs> which <laughs> is actually a thing I just said. Um, Yeah, every, every zone just has a stereotypical... Uh, either you've got mad agents trying to attack you, or you've got a stereotypical person who might live in that area attacking you. So that's what the, one of the pickups we got earlier that is a limited pickup is um, the gadget legs, which is just allows you to jump um, higher for a set period of time. Wow, this, this is a really hard sub-boss. There we go. Anyway, we're going to head to the Statue of Liberty. So he goes to this, um, we're going to get another cutscene, I need to skip. He goes to the Statue of Liberty and he looks at the Statue of Liberty and goes, hmm, this statue lo looks suspect to me for absolutely no reason. He says that. The, the, the statue looks normal, but whatever. So we're going, so we're going to go to the top of the Statue of Liberty. I didn't know there were stereotypical New Yorkers guarding the Statue of Liberty as well, but whatever. This is literally just, there's a ladder inside this pipe and you climb it. It's, 
I, I don't really know what they were getting at, but... I hope you like that jump noise, because he makes it every time you jump. <laughs> okay, so this is one of the... Quite, there's quite a few... as I would, I would call them auto-scrollers, but unfortunately I have to do something during them. So they're not... I can't actually have a rest or anything. Oh, there we go. This is the gadget coat. This 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 bit is fun because this whole area has like three loading zones in it. Just to float up to the stop for the Statue of Liberty. Also, I don't think this is what the Statue of Liberty looks like inside, I'm gonna be honest. I haven't been, so I can't confirm. There's probably not these giant cogs that can hurt you. Or big yellow arrows telling you which way to go. Something about this game I don't like is the enemies. Like, also that's a that's a great that's a great. Um, I wouldn't call it an enemy. It's a bomb on a balloon that looks like a cat head. There's the next loading zone. Where did I put my water? That is a good question. Oh, it's over there. God damn it, Mango! Can you pass me my water or someone? Okay, he's gonna do it. It's fine. Thanks. I've got my sl uh, slaves. Sorry, I mean servants to do my work. I'm probably going to... I've only got one health point here. So I'm going to be careful. Uh, interesting. <laughs> so something I didn't actually find out. I've, 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 I've technically run this game for like a while. But I only found out the other day when I was practicing. The uh, R2 button works as... You can use a gadget um, parachute at any time, but it's kind of useless to be honest. I didn't even know that was a thing, and now I know it's a thing, I still don't use it because it's useless. Okay. The uh, last loading zone, we're nearly out of New York. Nearly. Just gotta fight the boss. Every world has a boss. This one is uh, a robot dressed up as Statue of Liberty, I guess. Or a Statue of Liberty robot. I'm not exactly sure which. I'm pretty sure this boss is RNG. You have to hope that he follows you like this and doesn't turn around because you have to get him to hit his own rockets into him. There we go. That should be fine. I was going to try and get that health pick up. You can't skip these so you can hear the lovely dialogue. And now, let's go to Paris. Let's go to Paris. For some reason, we had to defeat that boss. Actually, no, I do want to save here, don't I? Okay, continue with save. There is an automatic save option, but then that would save at every single point it could save, which means you'd be looking at this for a lot of the run. But if, if, if it was a world record um, attempt, I would not save. Technically, I could do that because I have some backup saves, but I have to quit out to the PS2 menu. and uh, Not something I really want to do. So we're now going to go to Paris, and we all know the best spot in Paris is this random rooftop. I'm just going to do this for speed. Oh, I died. It's fine. I didn't actually mean to die, but uh, the good thing is I'll lose a life. And but my health, my your health doesn't go up. Your health doesn't start on 100%. It starts at like six. Like it's. Too, you have nine health points for some reason, and it starts at six every time you die. I don't know why it doesn't start at the full. Whatever. And the annoying thing is you have to jump, you have to use the gadget parachute to fall down there, to then just climb back up. There's coming up, is they've at least, that I know of, one recycled asset from Arabian Nights, and I only realized that recently. Here it is. Come on, here we go. That scream is also in Arabian Nights. That's the only thing I know that they've recycled. Cool. Oh, didn't get hit. Nice. Can I avoid? I did avoid that bomb. I could have just hit him, but I like the skill. He's gonna probably. Yep. This guy's got a good throw. He's trying his best. 
Let's try and fall down a bit. There we go. Oh yeah, here's the stereotypical uh, French men throwing bottles of wine. And this guy, this guy has a good throw. Now, I'm pretty sure there's no way of uh, skipping this bit. <laughs> I have to push this barrel all the way over here just to get up. Here we go. The hardest enemy, enemy of the game here is this bucket. <laughs> I just got hit by it because the timing was wrong. But luckily the enemies sometimes just give up when you press buttons. Is this bucket going to hit me again? Oh no, I did a nice sick dodge. The whole point of this bit is you need to get to the top of this construction um, scaffolding, that's the word. And you have to move this um, platform to actually get to the top. You're gonna make it, yep. So these are buttons, right? It's fine, they, they put buttons in the game, that's fine. Buttons do different things, yeah? So that's fine, but now we're gonna go over this side, and for some reason... I'm just gonna get rid of... oh, no. I forgot there was the bucket hole there. Yes, I'm. That's, that's what I'm calling it—the bucket hole. I'm gonna get rid of this guy for safety. They're now sw they've got switches here, so you might think, okay, that's because you can only do one thing with these switches. Also, I can move during when I can't see. You think that's not far enough up, right? So we're gonna pull the switch one more time, and then it goes up again. I don't think that's that's not really how switches work. And I'm gonna I'm gonna abuse the bucket hole to get down here quickly instead of having to drop down the sides. Now these guys, whoever developed this game, should take some game design courses because you see this red barrel, you think if I hit this right, you die. No, there's power up in it. The gadget legs, which you need to get across here. This is also quite horrible. If you were to drop down onto that platform straight away, you, you'd fall down and um, it just fall down and you die. And so you have to do what I just did. It's puzzle platforming. Now I want to touch, get around to this trigger as soon as possible. Because then it, uh, there's another loading zone. I think I think Paris is the longest area in the game. I'm going to call it Worlds because I like calling it Worlds. Sometimes at the beginning of these auto scrollers, you just have to hit an enemy to get your pick up. I guess they didn't want to just spawn it in the world for some reason. So, we're now flying over rooftops of Paris. Now, I haven't been to France either. Uh, I don't know if this is what France is like. Maybe someone in chat, <laughs> a French person, can tell me, is this what France is like? Just this low-flying plane in the background and a hotel and a boogie club. These auto strollers are horrible. Like, you can hit these things like the rockets and the the bomb, the mines that are on helicopter blades, I don't know, and you just lose health. But if you hit the chimneys and stuff like that, you die instantly and have to go all the way back to the star. Uh, apparently... What did I... That shouldn't have killed me instantly. They just usually take health. That's, the, that's, that's never happened before. Add it to the counter. So we have to go back to the start, annoyingly, but... Like I said, Paris is the longest level. It's got two auto-scrollers, it's that good. Although the second one isn't that long. I don't know how Dr. Claw has, like... Gadgets, gadgets, but... Okay, so the, the plot of this game is that Dr. Claw is going to make robot gadgets, um, just robots that look like Gadget to enslave the world or something. Which is funny because they he, they, he kind of did that in an episode as well. I forgot what the episode was called, it was in season one. I genuinely don't remember much about that episode though. But some scientist was making robots based off of Gadget. I don't know if they knew that or if this was just a generic video game idea they had though. Gadget's voice isn't terrible. 
I hope, hope we hopefully we'll watch the final cutscene, which is fine at the end of the game, so you can hear Claw's voice, because it's pretty good. Because everyone, most people's voices aren't terrible. Also, I might play uh, Penny's voice for like five seconds, because unfortunately, every boss has an unskippable cutscene after it, except one of them, where you rescue Penny. Spoilers, you rescue Penny and Brain. Um, okay. Let's avoid this. But, and some of these enemies are quite interesting. So, some dude who has bat wings who wants to hit you with a hammer. The blimp with a hammer on it. Uh, and I think that's it. I think that's all the bosses they have here. And the bosses? I mean, these are. I mean, if these are hard for you, um, okay, they're not very hard for me. Anyway, for some reason we get to the end of this bit and then Gadget just flies into the distance towards the Eiffel Tower. Have I got my phone in my pocket? I have. It's very important for later, later in the game. I don't think that I don't think the people with wings are French. They're just mad agents. The French men are the ones that throw the wine bottles, <laughs> as we all know. Don't worry, this game is very inclusive. We got a couple of other good worlds to come up. Let me skip that. This is more puzzle platforming. I did a trick. I'm going to try it. There's a trick in this area that I'm going to try and do that I felt was difficult. But I did it the other day in practice, so I'm going to try it again. And I haven't shown it on stream, so uh, this is a first. If I don't get it, I'll just die and have to redo something, probably. Or fall down. So we have to kill that Frenchman over there who happens to have a key for a door that has a button in it, and we press that button to bring down an elevator. So let's see, is it this way? I think it is. Oh, I'm just gonna get rid of this guy for safety because I'm about to because of what I'm about to do or try to do anyway. Is it this way? No, it isn't this way. I need to get go and further up. This whole place just looks the same, to be honest. There's an area later in the game that looks all the same, which is why I, I need some help with it. So I'm gonna... Okay. See if I can do this. So I'm gonna flick this switch. Nah, I can't get it. Sometimes if you just mash X during that, you can gain control during this and move. But the problem is, if you saw a second ago, when you walk across these platforms, they drop. So I'd have to navigate that without being able to see it. Which I can kind of do, but unfortunately I didn't get it there. Well, maybe I'll stream it again at some point and you'll see that trick again. Uh, also, I'm pretty sure this is not what the inside of the Alpha Tower looks like, but... Here's another enemy that are robots. Those aren't the robots, but they are robots that I'm guessing are mad. Robots, by mad I mean the guy, not that they have gone mad or anything. <laughs> that, that's such a weird name. I don't know if mad actually stands for anything. I need to fall down here. There's a ladder, but who needs a ladder when you can just you know, fall down? Luckily Gadget does have a shadow when he's like... He does when he's jumping, actually. But sometimes he doesn't, and it's really weird, so I drop down here and then walk up here. This guy's hammer throw is pretty good. I could have probably just jumped that without using that. At this point, I'm guessing the uh, the testers got confused because they just started sticking arrows everywhere. Hey, why do you need an arrow to tell you to go that way? There's only one ladder. There's also some pretty interesting signs on the Eiffel Tower. I don't know if we see any more. Like... There's a triangle sign, or no, it's a circle, it's down there with Gadget's face on it. It's just got Gadget's face on it. There's some that have, like, people on skis and, oh my, no, no, we're not going that way. It, I know which way I go. I'm being dumb. There's, there, that's why that sign is there that says to drop down, because that's actually good, because otherwise I wouldn't know where to go. Cause the, the game has the warnings for, um, where am I going? I'm actually confusing myself now. Oh no. Choking. 
Uh, where am I going? That is a good question. Oh, I'm going this way. I'm just being an idiot. I I practice this game honest. It's just this place just all looks the same. So that sign was actually a lie. There's a guy on skis going down the side of the Eiffel Tower on that side. There's one riding a bike up the Eiffel Tower there. Here's a nice glitchy area. We need this crate at least because we need to flick this switch. I like this music. Most of the music is the same, they just put themes on it. Oh, that's what I feel anyway. You could like just try and walk across that small gap. Also, this nice corner jump there. Um, but the last time I tried to walk across that gap, I clipped through it and fell to my death, so... You can see at some points the game tells me, like, if there is a ledge coming up or something, it has a warning symbol. You can turn that off in the settings, so I should... If I feel like I'm going to walk down somewhere and die, I should probably actually check that. <laughs> but There's a guy on skis on that sign, I'm pretty sure, right? Yep. Just, just the guy on skis. Don't worry, we're nearly done with Paris. <laughs> nearly done with his switch, but no, this French man is going to try and stop us. I think my favorite sound effect in the game... Oh, I walked across that without clipping through it. Nice. I didn't even think about it. I like the running animation where Gadget is always holding his hat. That's pretty good. I like the sound effect of when you're going to run out of your power-up, which is an alarm clock going off. <sighs> there's, there's some nice sound effects in this game. This, ga this game is pretty old. I think it was... I don't remember, was it 2002 or 3? It was quite an old PS2 game. Anyway, last auto scroller of this area. It's a disc based game, so the loading is a bit bad. Let's put it that way. Let's be let's not swear. Let me be kid friendly. Oh, I don't know if the stream can see. I'm wearing my appropriate shirt. I don't know if you can actually see this very well. It's my gadget shirt. So I thought I'd show something off during the auto scroller. So, anyone want to take a guess at what the uh, what the boss in France is in the end of Paris? Sorry, it's the top of the Eiffel Tower. So, anyone anyone guess what the what the boss is going to be? No. No. You're not going to guess what it is. Uh, vaguely? I'm going to use uh, one of my gadgets that I haven't yet, which is the tennis racket that comes out of my head to bat things away. So, this is what it is. It's a ape gorilla monkey thing that Mad made. Oh, so you just it just throws bombs at you and you need to butt it back. There we go. I think, oh, I thought that was it, but it wasn't. There we go. Okay, so. Here we go. Paris keep your eyes on the subtitles. Let's get to London now. Let's reach for London, guys. So, we're going to where we are right now. So, I know all you guys have seen London. You've gone outside at least. I hope you guys have gone outside at least once in the, your trip. Let's continue the save. You're going to see how accurate this representation of London is. So this game is French, so they're not that far away from England, right? And you think they would know what England looks like. <laughs> Couldn't even look out the window. <laughs> I can move during this, so we get out of a cab. That's accurate, I guess. Black cab, right? Uh, there's a fire hydrant that's red. We don't have those in the UK the last time I checked. There's a pharmacy, a red bus. 
Hotel Regency with with the uh, what what is that flag called? It's not actually called the like Union Jack, is it? I think people think it's called the Union Jack. I, am I waiting here for a re okay? I was waiting there for a reason, but I dodged the taxi like a madman. Johnson and Sons at St James Street. There's the bus station. All the buses come from. This is just a cutscene. It's just. Oh, who's getting messages? There's a gadget burger being advertised in the background. There's a Queen El uh, El 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 Elizabeth, an old English pub. Anyway, I need to defeat this boss. Come on, open. There we go. I have to wait for this. Here we're going to walk into the uh, the park. There's a, there's a skip here that I didn't realize was a skip because it is so easy to do until I realized the correct route. Get rid of that crow. There's probably like a keep off the grass sign, but it's so resolution you can't read it. So you're meant to go around the back there, but this bit... It's so easy to just skip it. I don't know what this is meant to be. Uh, we have these alive plants in London, I'm pretty sure. This is just another puzzle where you just have to flick a load of switches to open certain areas. You can play this game with the analog stick, but I mostly play with the D-pad because, um, well, it's it's mostly a game that requires four directions in one speed, so I don't really care. I want mean, to try and avoid, just like I don't mind taking health hits sometimes. Uh, here we're gonna have a cameo from a run from the other uh, from yesterday. Here's uh, his Noid. It's a guy dressed up in a bunny suit. Now, thanks to a dude in my chat known as Dash Yorkie for this strat, he, he lays down bombs and you have to like hit him with his own bombs. Here's the way you do it. You just jump across him a few times. Let him actually put a bomb down first. Come on. There we go. There are some speed strats coming up that I need to actually uh, do in a second. Uh, is the exit in the background? Because I forget which... Come on. Lay your bomb. I'm pretty sure the exit is... The one I can see, yeah, it's the one with the fence. Lay a bomb, come on. There we go. See, I sometimes take damage here, so I was trying to make sure I had enough health. There we go, okay. I want to wait here so this cutscene is shorter, because he runs out of his gate. Time for this auto scroller. So you have to hit something to get your pickup for this auto scroller. So what do you think you hit? It's the bin behind you, who happens to have a mad agent in it. There we go. Now I have the roller skates. This is. I mean, I think London has a lot of construction work. That's vaguely accurate. I like. There's a map of the UK in the background as well. Just in case you forget where you are. It's not a map of London or a tube map, it is just the UK. Uh, here's the generic Englishman throwing cups of tea at me, wearing a bowler hat and a suit. That's the British stereotype one there. There's a Scottish pub in the background for some reason. This is the... Don't do this on London roads. Don't roller skate up London roads, by the way. Also, I don't know what happened to the UK, but apparently we're doing so badly that they have to... Gadget has to be advertised on the side of every bus. Just this one dude you have to call for get help now. The wheels on the, um, the vehicles don't turn properly as well. If I get if I hit any of these, it's instant death. By the way, so that's what I'm trying to avoid. Here's a uh, here's a boss. There we go. <laughs> okay. 
London is quite short, so we're nearly done. It's basically a small platforming area in a final boss. Okay, I can skip this, there we go. So we're going across, um, this is Tower Bridge, right? It's not London Bridge, I always get those confused. As do all the tourists, I imagine. Which has also got some construction work going on. Here's the frame where it's going to take a dump, I think. This is the point when the frame rate, oh, yep. There's too much just, too much um, um, detail in the background. I might just take some damage here so I don't have to jump with my pick up. Oh yeah, the uh, crouch button in this game is R1. Um, I use it like three times in the run maybe? I don't remember how many times I use it. I'm just going to take damage here because I just want to go as far along as possible. Is it sub boss? Gotta avoid this. Uh, he, this guy drawing the taxi in his uh, suit and bowler hat was so annoyed he got out to try and attack me. Here's the boss of London. I don't want to. I don't. I don't know how I can explain him. He throws these bombs that look like him that drift down. When one hits the ground, it damages you, and all you have to do is just wait for him to uh, reveal his weak spot, which is him not holding his umbrella in front of him. You could let these all hit the ground, which you can do. You can let some hit the ground, but if you were to let them all hit the ground, you would just die. So I'm just going to let this other one hit the ground, because that's faster. You just take damage. So what's in the background? We've got Hotel Glory. We've got the old Deer Pub. Uh, there's a... I don't know what that thing in the middle is, because I can't actually read it on this screen. I mean... I, oh! Actually, let's hit the boss. I'm getting so distracted by the background. I know there's a pharmacy and the uh, the flag in the background, which I don't want to call the Union Jack. It's probably wrong. And the fire hydrant that we don't have. I'm I'm so distracted. I'm not attacking the boss. What's going on? This time, I wow. This one's really off the edge of the screen. I'm pretty sure it is just random. I'm just gonna let that one hit the ground. There we go. Okay, that's London done. So now we're going to well, London done. The son of Mexico. We're going to Mexico. Which I guess we just fly to because he just puts his gadget helicopter out and flies there. We've got like two areas and a final boss left still, although the, these areas are quite short, like eight minutes each, I think. Lun done, yep. So here's Mexico. Do dress up as a vending machine in the middle of Mexico. Yeah, okay. We've got some uh, vultures flying around. Dude throwing sticks of dynamite. Here's where the game gets difficult. It's like, if you went down there, you would die. It's, it's death. You just go in there to get this pickup to get over here. Here's also instant death. If you were to let this thing fall on me, I would just die instantly. There you go. This camera angle is horrible there. These are just local Mexicans just blowing up things to try and get rid of Gadget, I guess. Oh, here's a skip. Uh, hopefully I can do it. You're meant to grab this and float down really slowly. God damn it, I didn't get it. If you were to fall straight down, the loading trigger is the, f the floor, basically. So this is just slower. There we go, skip this cutscene. I need to actually go on my phone, because I need something in a minute. Um, my on the right. Okay, this is an auto-scroller, so... You could go up there, but I don't think I need... Oh, yeah, actually, I do need to. Okay, there's the instructions I need. It doesn't matter. This was the beginning. And falling into this lava doesn't actually have a death animation, so... So it's fine. This is literally just avoid the fire. 
far along here. Sometimes going up these things leads to more health or less damage. Get this health, this health pick up, um, sorry, life pick up for no good reason because I have enough. Maybe I'll die a lot on the final boss, maybe I'll choke, maybe I'll need those lives. There's a couple of areas around in this game, like there's an area coming up and the final boss which have had a habit sometimes of not loading, by which I mean the game sticks you like in an invisible room and I'm guessing it then plays cutscenes and I skip the cutscene and it hasn't actually loaded the next area so I'm just stuck in an invisible box or hasn't at least moved me to it because I can usually hear sound effects and stuff. But There's a sub boss coming up. So I'm going to make sure I have enough health. It's a very interesting one. Also, these jumps you have to be pretty late on. There it is. It's a pillar that just fires a load of fire at you. And you can just take so much damage from that. Anyway. It's time for the real, the real part of um, Mexico. Which is why I need notes. Because this place looks the same to me. This is where I've had the game not load before. I can still jump inside here as well. There we go. So this is like an Aztec temple or something. So yeah, the Mexicans wear Sabrembos and throw dynamite at you. This is literally a puzzle where you just uh, walk through, you press buttons and walk through doors. And I'm trying to remember which one is which, basically. Uh, yep. I'm just gonna get rid of this robot for safety. That's like ESA color robot, I'm pretty sure. Left. These robots have really long arms, so let me see if he tries to hit me. Nope, he didn't. Let me just check. Left, um, far right. I have to press another button somewhere along this area. Oh, I hate this area. The problem is, if you die on this area, the game will respawn you like further up. Or well, not further up, but it will respawn you not at the bottom of the Aztec temple. But it removes... It, it just resets the level, so all the buttons you've pressed are no longer apply. So it can be really hard to actually recover from that type of stuff. Um, okay, that's why I'm trying not to do it. So I'm going to go through that door in a second. I just need to get the button for it. It's open. Oh shit. Oh. Low on health. I'm actually a bit worried. Is this gonna does this fire when I go near it? I forget. I think it does. Let's avoid this guy. Let me just just check. Um yeah, okay, there's only one button here, so it's not that. Did I just <laughs> Die to that one tiny thing. So it respawns me here. Now let me try and remember where I am. Okay, so this is the gecko door, as I call it. I don't know if that's a gecko or a lizard. I don't really care. Now let me check. I think I can recover from this just fine. I think the other doors don't matter at this point. Because this unlocks... The problem is those guys can kick you while you're pressing buttons. That opens the door I need to go through here, and it also opens the door later in the stage. There's only one button in this next area as well. Did I go through that door? I didn't. Did I go through that door? I didn't think I did. No, I didn't. I thought I pressed up before I looked down at my notes. Okay, I can memorize that. I go to the left and go through a door, but not that one. Uh, this one, which is not open, as you can see. Oh no, it is open. Okay, I can actually see from that angle. I just realized the background is like um, 
Oh, these things actually switch its directions? I've never had this. You can see Gadget's head is spinning and my um, controls are reversed. I've I never had that. Okay, it's back to normal now. I don't even know what that was. I thought those things killed you. Because they just killed me. Whatever, I don't care. This game is surprising me all the time. I'm just that good at the game that I never get hit. That's what happened. Which is why I've never died in this whole run. Okay, time for the final boss. I don't... Uh, I mean, I think this is kind of a stereotype, stereotype boss, but I'm not sure. I'm bad with Mexico. So it's whatever this is. I guess it's another robot. You have to make it knock out a pillar and then just go off the top. So it can be really quick if you do it right, but it likes to switch directions. Hang on a second. Stand like here, I think. There we go. Okay, I want you to hear Penny's voice, so I'll play this cutscene for a very brief period. Hooray, hooray, hooray! There you go, Penny and Brain. That's what they look like in the game. Uh, actually. Thank you, Uncle Gadget. You are amazing. I want to show Gadget's face as well. Hang on a second. There you go. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, I'm gonna skip now. <laughs> Basically, Penny is like, okay. Gadget is out on his secret ca ca Caribbean base, and the reason I'm saying that so weirdly is the game's subtitles spell Caribbean, C-A-R-I-B-E-A-N. I don't know, ask the, ask, ask the people who drew it. <laughs> so now we're on the, yeah, the Caribbean, Car Caribbean secret base. I guess, do these guys meant to look like Aquaman or something? I'm not sure. Here's, here's the... Oh god, I hate these. Sometimes these things can hit you, even if they're not on. So we just have to work our way through here. You don't get poisoned by this gas unless you be in it, you're in it for too long, so you can just run through it. Here's the, here's the, here's the robots Mad was making. I made a really poor choice here, because this guy is now going to be on the other side of this, blocking me. Okay, I'm fine. I'm gonna kill this guy quickly. We're gonna come back up here, but if you don't do that, he'll he loves to just throw things at you while you're down here. Oh, if that hit me, I was meant to duck quickly just to stop it from happening. Okay, we're nearly in the next room. So I'm just gonna... Now, if anyone wants to come and find a skip for this game, here's a here's something I'd love to happen. The the button that triggers the next area is just over a jump. I'll show you. It's literally on that platform over there, but you can't reach it, so we have to go all the way around. And the reason I'd want to do that is I'll show you why. Okay, I need to wait for this. This is instant death. And there was a box in my way, otherwise I wouldn't have been able to go through. I don't know what these machines are doing, really, but besides, you know, killing Gadget. I'm just going to wait for this one. Oh, interesting. Actually, I'm going to wait. I, I don't trust that box to move in time. Okay, here we go. You have to go, like, all the way to the bottom of the stage to press a button to get all the way to the top, basically. It's really annoying. I don't know, like, what... But, like, this is the... For some reason, they're producing the robots on a base at sea. I don't think that's very optimal, but you know, whatever. The hammers that come out of the ground are my favorite enemies as well. Also, this is the platform I have to activate to get up to the top, basically. You can, like, not take damage, but you can run into those things and it stops you. It's really annoying. The reason I would want a skip is mainly because this thing is based on a cycle. Sometimes I don't make it up in time. And you have to... I used to have to jump back onto this to go back down, and if you miss the jump and it like is going straight down, you would die. Let's see. This you wouldn't think is applicable to press during a speedrun, but if you don't press it, the game just locks up somewhere, if I remember rightly. I did try it. Wow. I've gotten a little fat. So, so he adjusts himself to be washing machines. So the robots are useless, I guess. I don't think. I don't really think 
gadget is that smart to do that, but what do I know? Avoid the hammer. So I said I said before that I used to have to go down that other way. So this is the place where you could have jumped across basically if you could jump far enough. Just for the safety of these guys. I used to have to go back down on that platform that goes up and down, but I realized recently you can just do this. So this is where the pressy things are at the start. I can just drop down here instead. Which I'm not sure if it's exactly faster, but it's definitely safer. And to get down to the bottom you have to... It's not the same area as where I was a minute ago to press a button. It's slightly further to the um, to the right. I could probably drop down that side, but... If I remember rightly, there's a robot at the bottom that fires missiles at you. Um, I think I've gone too far over. Yeah, I did actually go too far over. This place looks the same to me. <laughs> Here we go. Can I make it? Can I make it? There we go. There's a button here to raise and lower this really small platform. The only use of that is if you're at the bottom. But if you're at the bottom, then you're going to go through this door and finish the level, so I don't really know. Unless you go down there by accident, I guess. Okay, so the secret base is nearly over. It's just got an auto-scroller there. So you see this. You think this would be death. No, it opens these gates. Every other time in the game, the lasers have been death, but not here. So this is basically like the auto scrollers that we had before, except there's a gimmick of going through a laser that activates a door. Let's collect as many lives as possible for no good reason. someone else talking in the room and also there's basically nothing to say here so I'm like <laughs> lasers that oh yeah the lasers that come down from the ceiling which only trigger when you're at a certain point in the screen so you can actually make it so you can't get through without getting hit if you wait too far to the left those are new for this if you hit the um if you hit the flames of the rockets that's also part of their hitbox so you can uh, lose health that way I want health for the last boss but we're fine we're nearly up to the final boss, which has three phases. The only reason the final boss is diff the final bosses are difficult is just because game design anyway, but they're not that difficult. I like this guy just throws baseball bats. Oh no, all the rockets. Better dodge them. Is this area only here just to protect the base from gadget like I don't really understand what this area is for I just I don't know okay here's here's, here's the like sub boss go through like three of these things now I actually want to be furthest to the right of the screen as possible because the uh, the, the final trigger for this auto scroller triggers as soon as you get near it here it is actually I'm going to save because this is the final boss and I've had it break going into it and if I somehow lost all 16 of my lives if you don't save there's no way back if, I hope not I hope I'm not going to die 16 times so which button is the racket it's square okay. okay so here's the final boss is it this side no it's that side okay so I'll explain when I get near it what it is. It is a giant cat that shoots bombs. And I need to hit it five times and then run up and hit it and then do that five times basically. If you go past the dotted line, uh, the, the boss will move to the other side so you don't want to do that. I'm just going to avoid this health because it's actually... Sometimes 
these hits can be very inconsistent. Like, I'll try and hit it, and it just doesn't work. And I hit it that time, and I was jumping, so... Like, I feel like that was fine. Whatever. This is the only the first phase of the final boss, though. I'd say bosses, but... I mean, we're fighting mad, we're just fighting robots that he made, I guess. I don't know. I mean, every single boss has, I think, been a robot he made. Even the Mexican one, right? That was technically a robot. See, I just took damage from that one. I, I thought it was fine. There we go. This is the biggest phase, I think. Or the longest, should I say. It's the same thing over and over again, but... There's a way you can, like, cheese the final um, phase of the boss. I don't know if I'll do it or not, depends on how much health I have. So then his head just falls off. Good. And then just fades out. So the next two boss, the next phase of these two cat robots that fire rockets at you. So the way you attack these bosses is by jumping over the rockets and they just hit each other. I, I don't know if that, I'm assuming that's the intended way. I, I'm like never been bothered to check. I don't want to walk across this line in case it's something wrong, but god damn it. It has to be the rockets that are firing left and right, because they also try and fire rockets directly at you. Anyway, this doesn't take long. God damn it. Time to wait. The final, uh, Joe, get ready on time, by the way. It's mm, like 20, 30 seconds from now. The final boss is Bowser, I guess. I don't know. Shoots fire. All you need to do is hit him. So you can hit him whenever you want. But I'm nearly out of health. What you're meant to do is wait for him to attack, basically. Let's see if I can go for do it. There we go. And then do that. That's how you're meant to do it. But can I cheese it one more time? Time. I see it explodes. 52 minutes, that's like 4 minutes worse than my TV, so not terrible. I got lost a couple of times and I died once. Okay, here's Claw's voice. Darn you, gadget. Doesn't sound anything like Claw, does it? <laughs> world record. It's, what, it's marathon world record. That's what matters. Because I didn't watch the cutscenes. Hey Joe, when's the next run actually scheduled for? Ah, hello, Chief. Mission accomplished. All of nice. What's the time now? Have been destroyed. What? Okay. But now What's Claw next? Is preparing to escape. Hurry up. Say again. Try and catch him. Donkey, Donkey Kong, Kong 5. Five is next. Oh, is that the Game Boy game we've got? Nice. That's pretty good as well. Is this just the meme day or something? What's going on? I actually want to leave this cutscene on, because I said the subtitles were bad. Uh, have a read of these ones. I don't know why his lips are moving, what's going on? We missed him, Chief. Ah, oh, but it was a close one. That's okay, Ketchup. You've done great work. You deserve a vacation. You did a good work. You deserved some holidays. That's what I say all the time. Thank you, Chief. At least that one's right. I'll be taking some rest at the countryside. That'll be a change from all This will travels. change from all those travels. Go, go, gadget chapter. As he flies away. Oh, this is going to take a while for him to get back to land, I think. <laughs> so gadget um, claw gets away and, and it's like next time gadget, next time or whatever he says. And that's this video game. Thanks to these French guys that also made um, Arabian Nights. Anyway, let's get on. There is actually a bonus for completing the game. You unlock a multiplayer game, and I don't actually remember what it 